This is the Streecom Open Bench Table. It's an open desktop case where you can work on your PCs without fear of getting in the way of the actual case itself. So if you'd like to see this review and also see what this can do, then stick around because it's tech whiz time. Hey guys, Jonathan here with Tech Whiz Time where I create technology tutorials and review videos. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Streecom Open Bench Table. Now, this is really exciting. I've been waiting on this because of the PC builds that I've been doing, and there will be more on this channel. So if you're looking for PC advice, components, and all that sort of thing, reviews, then make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell, no bell notification icon too. Whew, that was a mouthful. So with that said, I haven't even opened this yet. It's still sealed. So let's open it up and have a look at what's inside. Cue the comically large knife. Let's flip this over. And of course, it had to be red to match the channel. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty right there. Oh yeah. So a couple of the standoffs or the, the attachments uh, fell off. So I thought I'd just put them back together just so you can see the whole thing together. And I'll move. There we go, that's better. That looks great in that light. So what you'll see here is you'll see you've got some thumb screws here, which simply whoop, come out like that. So everything can go back into the open bench table when you're finished with it. So there's no worrying about losing any bits or pieces or anything like that. Everything that you'll need to connect up to a power supply, a motherboard, and there's a range of sizes too of motherboards that this will hook up to. It's a uh, uh, mini uh, ITX, uh, mini ATX, micro ATX, ATX, EATX, and XL EATX. So all those styles of cases, uh, sorry, styles of motherboards, sorry, will fit this, um, which is absolutely fantastic. The other thing as well is that it'll do GPUs, um, SSDs, water coolers, um, and also power supplies. So everything will fit on this, all really neat and tidy, and basically will flatten out again like this. So you can just pack it away and yeah, it's good to go. So with that said, let's, uh, let's open this up and we'll hook up a test bench and we'll see if we can, yeah, see what it looks like with everything hooked up and running. All right, cue the time lapse. So after that awesome time lapse, here we are. We've got the test bench set up, how you would see a normal sort of test bench if you were testing, you know, motherboards and hardware at home. Now, 
I did have a couple of issues, so I'll go through everything that I did and then explain it along the way. So there are two types of standoffs. There are the normal type, which allows you to screw in a screw into them, or there's the push pin type, which I've used in this instance because it's just, yeah, it was easier to be honest. And it meant that I didn't have to get out any extra screws or anything like that. So the push pin uh, standoffs are actually really good. I like them a lot. Um, definitely use those if you're going to use the graphics card standoffs purely because you'll need to screw these long ones into those. Yeah, and as I'm only using the one GPU, I've only needed two of those. So out of that, I've still got two, four, six left. So yeah, I've got six of the screw in standoffs left, but I've used all the push pins and this is a micro ATX case, so uh, motherboard, sorry. So you can see, yeah, just be, be wary of that. <laughs> if you're going to be installing two GPUs, um, you'll only be able to use say four of your screw in standoffs on your motherboard, okay? So that's the, the standoffs for the motherboard and so forth, that, that was fine. Um, connecting the legs uh, was really simple. Basically just unscrewing and then screwing it back in. Um, yeah, very, very simple and very, very sturdy as well. Like nothing there is moving except maybe the power supply. And that's the next thing that I'll get onto. So the power supply itself, I'll turn that around just quickly. So there you go. You can see there's only two screws in there at the moment. And that is because if I can feel, uh, there it is because the power connector actually comes in contact with the legs. Now, this isn't the, gonna happen with all power supplies. This is just the thermal take one that I'm using here. Uh, for whatever reason, the way that the power point, power point, where you plug the power cable into, where you plug the power cable into is actually monitor, uh, orientated on a horizontal rather than vertical. So because of that reason, and for whoever knows, whatever other reasons, yeah, this particular power supply won't fit, but I have seen other ones fit without a problem. So don't stress too much about it as long as, yeah, as long as you can connect it there with at least three, it would be really good. In my case, I can only use two. So you just got to take it where you can. So the other thing was mounting the SSD. So once you've taken out the standoffs for the GPU, you've got a little, you've got two little, hang on, let me turn it up there and I'll show you. There we go. So you've got two sections there where you can put two SSDs or um, a three and a half inch hard drive if that's what you've got. So the mounting screws just screw in there and it keeps it uh, secured to the actual chassis itself or the open bench table, I should say. Yeah, very, very simple to do and very, very cool. Then hooking up all the power cables and uh, the SATA cables and all that sort of thing were really, really simple. So yeah. <laughs> Really, really impressed and can't wait to be testing out uh, some different GPUs. This one installed at the moment is, actually I didn't talk about the GPU. Yeah, so the GPU, you put the two standoffs there. Um, you've got to take the top screws off first, push it into place, put in the GPU, and then screw in the top one. So that'll attach it nice and firm there. Doesn't move, which is really, really good. Really, really impressed. Um, I've just plugged a, a USB, Wi-Fi AC adapter in there, just because I won't have access to a wired internet. Um, actually, I've got a video coming up very, very soon, which will be testing three different types of AC1200 Wi-Fi adapters to see if there's any difference and which type you should go for. So with any luck, that should be up in the cards. Otherwise, check down in the description and I'll leave a link down there for it when I do release it. So yeah, check that out. All right, so um, yeah, overall really, really successful. I love this uh, bench table. Um, I don't, yeah, like I said, the only negative thing that I had was the orientation of the power supply, but that is because of the style of this power supply from Thermaltake. So with other ones, I don't see there being an issue, uh, but just be aware of that. Check out where your input power is on there and yeah. And I'm using a modular or semi-modular power supply just to make it a little bit easier. One more thing that I forgot to mention, and it's not massively important, but on the sides here, you've got a couple there and on the other side over here, 
you can mount, or actually, yeah, on the ends as well, you can mount a GPU or CPU water cooling fan. So the, the ones that you'd normally mount in the case, you can actually mount these to the side. However, there's a little caveat. You can only use, you can only hook up up to a 240 millimeter fan. If it's 280 or 320 or any bigger than that, then it's not gonna to attach to the chassis, unfortunately. So yeah, there's a couple of little standoffs there that pivot and they attach to the, the side of the bench table. So I don't have a water cooler to show you off at the moment, but yeah, that is definitely an option for those out there that wanna water cool their test benches. So yeah, awesome. So after all that, would I recommend this to everyone? No. Would I recommend it to people that are constantly testing hardware or they want something that they can travel with where they can just quickly pack it, flat pack it down and bring it with them? Then yes, definitely. This is going to be really, really handy. Instead of putting motherboards back into cases and then taking them back out again and then putting them back in, this is just gonna make it so much easier to work on them. Changing RAM out, doing tests, you know, figuring out the different GPUs, CPUs and so forth. This is gonna be the perfect bench table for someone that does those sort of things. So yeah, if you are interested, I have left a link down in the description below. Um, be aware they can become a little bit hard to find. So yeah, if you are interested in one and if they are available, then make sure you snag one now. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I really hope you liked it. Um, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell icon for notifications. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you can, uh, help me get the content out there and share it on social media like Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Um, yeah, I'm going to be making more content like this very soon. Um, I'm really loving the computer builds. So, yeah, if this is of interest to you, then make sure you, you are subscribed. And as always, imagine, learn, create.